Hello everyone, this is Nathan with Coffee Cup Spreadsheets, and today we are going to go through a tutorial of my photo directory. Uh, we've got a couple different versions here, they're all fairly similar, they just have different amounts of information on them, and uh, we're going to walk through how to edit the headings, we're going to show you how to adjust these drop downs as well as how to add additional tabs onto this directory. So we'll just get right to it. If you would like to change some of the headings, say instead of role, you wanted to change this to maybe an address, something like that. So you can change any of these names up here and it will everything will automatically update except you will have to go to this directory designer. These categories automatically populate with your new uh, section headings, but these drop downs are going to change. So you're going to have to click, so role is no longer valid, we have to go down here and we have to click address. And so while we're on this page, we can edit some of these other fields, we can swap them around. So maybe we want the address up here, we want department, we want phone. Now, two exceptions. Photo should not go down here because this is this supplementary information. The photo is going to pull automatically based off of the name. And then the name can go anywhere. So let's see. Let's throw the name down here. So you see now the name is the fourth line down. However, up here, these pieces of information will automatically populate. Name is one that's hard coded in because we've got a first and last name. It concatenates with some formulas, so we just leave that up here at the top. Down here is where you can edit and change everything. So I'll go ahead and put this back the way it was. So this is roll and roll. We'll update. Sometimes it, oh, I changed the name. Control Z, if you ever do something you don't need to do, just hit hold control, press the Z key, and everything will be back to the way it was. Okay, here we go. And email, perfect. And that is how to edit the headings and how to adjust these fields here. You'll do all of that with the directory designer tab. Now, say you have filled up all of your pages with employees and you need to add additional uh, pages onto the end, what you will do, so my page 10 is blank because I don't have enough, we'll go to page 4 as an example. You will, well, we'll do, we'll do page 4. So we will right click page 4 and we will click duplicate and that you'll see this will pop up with a page 4. and you can rename this to, you would rename page five, but there's already a page five, so I'll do page four and a half, okay? And now this is just an exact copy of page four. There's nothing different. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to click into column C and type down, use the arrow key to go down until you get to row C9, okay? And then you see this formula up here. This isn't rocket science to change, but all you'll do is you'll just click into that formula, you'll hit backspace, and type 4. And you'll do that the same way for this second piece of the formula over here, backspace 4, and then click enter. And it just updated. And so you'll see it's all blank because I don't have any employee information in here, so this would be like a page 5. But that's how it's going to update. Um, so again, you just, whenever you make a new page, you'll scroll down. And the reason why I changed it to page four is that was the page previous to it. And so this page is going to grab, it's going to look at this last, this last entry here, and it's going to take the next one. There isn't a next one, so it's just blank. Um, but it will continue on. So ba I could rename this to anything I want to. It doesn't have to be page four. It could be section two. But you just have to make sure that this formula right here 
refers to this right here is the tabs. So this you'd call this section two if your you know page four was section two. Hopefully that's not too confusing. And then E36 is the particular cell that we need to refer to and add one to grab the next entry. And lastly, there's the sorted by last name tab. All this is, you don't need to do anything with this tab, it's automatic. Um, it is sorting the main directory tab. It's putting it into the correct order. So if you wanted to sort it, um, so right now it's sorting by, it is sorting by, let's see, two, three, four, it's sorting by department, and then it's sorting by last name. So if you want to change the sort order, this four is referring to the fourth or fourth the fourth column in your directory. So one, two, three, four. And then the second one, it's the other way of sorting. Um, it's gonna refer to your last name. So over here, one, two. So, and then the true means that it's ascending order. So it's gonna be from A to Z. If you wanted it descending order, you would change this to false. And you would see the order would flip. It would start with M, because M, last letter in the alphabet. Um, but then the last name in these departments, you'll see Blanchard is first, Valdez is last. Um, Again, if you change something and it airs out or you don't like it, you just hold control, press Z, and once it updates, it all is back to normal. Now then, printing. Anywhere on this, you can just hold control, hit P, or you can go to File and go down here to Print. By default, it will have this fit to width you can just change that to fit to page. And then all of your employees will appear on the same page. Now, if you want to print all of the tabs all at once, you'll click this print and you'll do workbook. Now that's gonna have the entire workbook. You probably don't want everything. So we're gonna click on this selection and we're just gonna uncheck our instructions. We're gonna uncheck the directory, we're gonna uncheck the designer and the sorted by last name, and we're gonna click apply. So you see now everything is fit to the page. We've got all of the tabs we want. There will be some blank pages, so if you wanna take those off, feel free to. I believe that's page four. So starting with, with page five, four and a half, five, you can uncheck those, and this will be exactly what you want. Now you can print this to PDF and uh, yeah, that print it to PDF. You can print black and white color wherever you need to and uh, treat it just like a PDF from there. You can print it out. You can email it. You can upload it to a website, whatever you might need. And guys, that's going to wrap up this tutorial. Thank you so much. If you like uh, this listing, if you haven't purchased it already, the link will be down in the description. Again, thanks so much for watching.